The first one on this list was the Roman Empire challenge. And I think I spoke to you about this uh, a while back, but maybe, maybe I feel like I feel like you sent remember. a TikTok. I think you sent something. But by the way, when you send me TikToks, they look like the shit from Idiocracy with all the fucking ads and shit on it. Like I can see like just the center part is a video and it cuts off the top and it cuts off the bottom and I have to hit no, I don't want to join TikTok and then I have to hit oh unmute God. and so I missed the first part of it. And then it's got all the scrolling shit and all the tags and shit. Like, I, I don't know if that happens for you because you, you're you on TikTok. No, I should, it doesn't. I should yeah. take a screenshot. You should send me a TikTok. I'll send you a screenshot of how so, fucking ridiculous it looks. Well, yeah. But anyway, no. I think you sent me something about, about this. Well, it's funny that you say that because I, I'm, I'm not really on – I finally got rid of Twitter just because – not because I don't – I just – I never do anything on Twitter. I don't have any followers. I don't – the only Twitter stuff I get are, like, from Eric and Rich. So I don't, I don't That's really like know me on Facebook. I have, I have a yeah. hundred friends and three of them comment. Yeah, exactly. So I'm like, I don't, why do I have, why do I even have Twitter? I don't, or I'm sorry, whatever it's called now, but like, well, why, yeah, why do or, I even yeah. have it? So, but it's exactly the same. So when I get, I have to close out like three things before I can look at it, which is probably what's happening on, on TikTok for you. Yeah. But anyway, anyway I, th I think you said, okay, so Roman empire, something, I so think the, I know the, what you're talking the about. The Roman here, empire but. challenge is. This was a girl thing. So basically, uh, girls would ask their boyfriends or their husbands, they would go, hey, how often do you think of the Roman Empire? How many times, like a week, or just how many times in general, do you think about the Roman Empire? Not a lot. How often? Once every month? Uh, maybe three or four times a month. <laughs> you think about the Roman Empire once a week? It has a lot of big, like stories and lessons like within the roman empire of what to do and what not to do so yeah how often do i think about it yeah i don't know it is technically like every day <laughs> honestly probably two to three times a day what i don't know probably like three or four times a week i'm thinking i think about it you're kidding <laughs> Lee, i mean I how how often do you think of the roman empire Zero. I mean, not zero. I mean, like I've I've read Marcus Aurelius's book. I'm like I've I'm up to date on you know the Roman Empire, right? And, but I maybe maybe it's a honestly maybe it's an age thing though because I remember like Ethan and I used to talk about the Roman Empire all the time when the show Rome was on and like like so maybe it's an age thing. Like as right. you learn about things, you get to a point where you're like, hey, maybe I'm looking at history. And you start seeing correlations between empires and I think you're on you track. Know, colonialism. I think, I you're think, on track I with think age, but I think it's more than I think it's I think it's more gender. Oh no, certainly gender. Certainly gender. dudes. Certainly girls, dudes. Girls, girls, zero point zero. Yeah, hundred percent. Girls do not think about the Roman 100%. Empire. They've never because, thought about the Roman Empire. And no, guys, that's about, they think about it, that kind of thing. Because it's about war and hegemony and, and colonialism and, and empire building and all that stuff. Like it's it's dude shit. Mm -hmm. Right. But also I think it's age. Like I'm 48. If you had asked me this when I was 28, the answer wouldn't have been zero. It wouldn't have been five times a week. It would have been, I don't know, like Ethan and I sometimes talk about the Roman empire and, you know, all the shit, sort of the historical war shit, you know, talk right. about Hannibal and, and Marcus Aurelius and, and some of those, like you talk about that shit when you're younger, because I think you're learning it and you're learning how, how it applies to current situations. But at 48, Certainly no women ever talk about Rome ever. <laughs> That's not in their lexicon. It's not something they worry about. They, yeah. they probably went to see gladiator and I mean, gladiator is a 20 year old movie now too. Gladiator yeah. was right down our alley when we were 25 over 20 cool. years. Yeah. Yeah. So, but girls not into it. All right. So there's a couple other ones here. These ones were, I, I listen uh, there. I could see a lot of people getting offended by some of these. But ooh, let's I, do it. Let's get offensive. They're fucking I'm, hilarious. And they let's get kids. offensive. I'm I'm ready for freedom of speech. Let's get offensive. <laughs> Listen, you know me. They, I'm offensive. They involve kids, so I think it's extra funny. You know but... some of my best jokes, worst jokes. <laughs> oh, I I remember. And I said those specifically to see if people would punch me. The closest I ever got was Alistair. Mm. He said, "I have a nine year old kid." So anyway, they're they're there. They're making like they're preparing food, and the TikTok challenge was instead of cracking like an egg like on a bowl or something like that. You take wow. the egg and you just like crack it on their head and then you just put it in the bowl. And like the kid is stunned. They're like, wait, what am I supposed to cry? Or am I supposed to, what, what am I? 
And then I and love then this they, so they, much. And then they 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 go they keep going like they just crack another egg and then the kid's like, and some sometimes the kid will cry or like but you know eggs they don't hurt right so it's like kind of like a they're, they're just stunned. I don't like that. Oh. <laughs> Egg. <laughs> Ow. I love this so much. I love this so much. I, dude, when Brian told me, like one time Brian told me his, his younger daughter came running into him and she was panicked. She was totally panicked. And she's like, my skin is wet. My, my skin is wet. And he's like, what? She goes, ah, oh, my skin is wet. And he goes, well, what were you doing? She says, I was, I was out running around and my skin is wet. And he goes, oh, you're sweating. <laughs> But she was a kid. She was a little kid. She yeah, didn't know. Yeah. And she was panicked. She's like, oh, what's going on? Like, what, what, what's happening? Yeah. I love this so much because I want parents to start doing things to their kids to yeah. prepare them for the unexpected. Experiences. But also experiences. Yeah. That, that's what I, I told I Steve. That. Like, on the last uh, podcast I had with, with Steve, Yeah. I was like, that would be the coolest thing about having kids is experiencing new things with them. Right. Yeah. And, and like, forcing I, them into I think about that a lot. Yeah. 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 So like that is, I, I just, I thought that was hilarious. There's another one that I thought was mm, funny, but it involves Steve again, because I told Steve this and Steve goes, yeah, if I did that one, um, my wife would probably kill me. So in each case, the baby's crying, right? Okay. So what you do is you like take little babies. Yeah. Like, like little, okay. I mean, they're in like, like you know, crying babies. Okay. Yeah. So, the challenge is <laughs> you take, you know, the, the craft singles cheese and you okay. unwrap it and you take it and you throw it on their face and it stops them immediately from crying. They're like, they're stunned. Hold, hold, hold on here. It's not going to hurt them in the moment, but that's an eating disorder at age 14, right? Like that's associating emotion with the smell of cheddar cheese. Yeah, like that's, an, that's, an, that's an eating disorder, I think. <laughs> I think that's how eating disorders start. Well, is it an eating disorder if you don't let them eat it? or if? Well, yeah, because uh, massive emotion. Jeez. Like, well, who knows what they're crying about? I, it could be existential. Like, I, I'm a baby. I think I'm going to die. Jeez. Oh, jeez. Gee, oh. So of, now every time they feel emotional, they're going to fucking buy a pizza. That's an easy you know, look. The, I want to know. I want to follow up with these parents. I kind of think of, years. you know what I think of? You remember that scene from Superman 2 where he takes that thing and he just like, he takes that thing and it's like this thing and it goes over the, the, the bad guy and he's like, Rah! And like, what is this? What is this? I mean, it's like, look, I mean, it's brilliant to stop the kid in the moment, but how malleable are those kids? Like the first two years are like the years that Lee, you make them into the humans Lee, they're going to be. These aren't our kids. You don't have to no, worry I, about this, but it except, is going to affect society, on, right? Hold on. I used to fucking believe that, except now I realize I'm paying for it. Oh, that's true. You that's true. and I are paying for this shit. Those kids are going to be on Medicare when they're 26. <laughs> Medicare. Because the, because they will be incapable of going to work because their work smells like cheddar cheese. Oh, poor kids. Man, some of them bring, some, someone, someone in their office will bring a ham and cheese and they're like, <gasps> <laughs> I can't do my accounting <laughs> they now. Have, they have like a violent flashback from like, they're like you know, age accounting, one. accounting, accounting, <laughs> ham and cheese. <laughs> They're like, hey everybody! I brought some uh, cheese pizzas in uh, for the. Uh, oh, oh God! Oh God! Look, this is this is eating disorder. This is fucking. Uh, I, 
So you're no. not a fan of that one. You're not a fan of the. I, uh, I mean, I think I think cheese. it's humorous. I think it's a brilliant parenting technique to get the kid to <laughs> shut up. I think we all pay the price later. The okay. jury on that one is still out. Okay, so we're two out of three on that one. All right. Okay. All right. <sighs> 